Here we're asked to find which of the ordered pairs will solve this particular inequality. Well, to answer the question, what we'll do is substitute these values in for x and y and see if we obtain a true statement or not. Let's begin with negative 2 comma negative 1. Here we'll substitute negative 1 for y and negative 2 for x and simplify. So we have negative 1 is greater than negative 1 half times 2 is 1 plus 2 is negative 1 greater than 3 so that's false. That tells me negative 2 comma negative 1 is not a solution. Okay now let's try the origin here 0 0 and do the same thing. Substituting here, we'll have, we'll see if zero is greater than negative one half times zero plus two. Well, remember, anything times zero is just zero, so zero is greater than two. Uh, that's false. Therefore, zero, zero is not a solution. Let's try negative two comma eight. Let's see if eight is greater than one half times the x here, negative two in this case, plus two. 8. Negative 1 half times negative 2 again is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. And certainly 8 is greater than 3. So this one leads to a true statement. Therefore, negative 2 comma 8 is a solution. Continuing. Here we'll substitute 1 in for y and see if that's greater than negative 1 half times 2 plus 2. Negative 1 half times 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. Now 1 is not strictly greater than 1, so that's a false statement. Certainly if that had the equal under there, it would be true, but as it stands, that's false. There's one more point to test, and that is 4 comma 2. So in this case, y is 2. We'll see if that's greater than negative 1 half times 4 plus 2. 2 is greater than negative 2 plus 2, and I think it is. 2 is greater than 0. Yes, that's a true statement. Therefore, 4 comma 2 is a solution. And so out of the original list, we found two solutions. And those two solutions are negative 2 comma 8 and 4 comma 2.